Hello everyone, the doctor is in, and to keep with the BotCon theme, as it's only a week and a half away, um, I have for you the BotCon 2010 uh, exclusive figure Rapido. Um, Rapido is, uh, was not a member of the box set, uh, but it was an exclusive figure in 2010. Uh, I did do a few reviews of those figures, and I'll put links, I'll post links of those videos up for you on here in case you want to check those out. Um, but Rapido is probably uh, my second favorite of the of that of that year, uh, second to Breakdown. I like uh, Breakdown is just a great figure. <laughs> Rapido is a uh, update of uh, G2 Rapido, um, and this is the uh, Universe Silver Streak Smokescreen Prowl mold. Um, it's also uh, in the box set uh, Street Star, I believe. Rapido um, is actually Spanish. Um, I have his. Uh, tech specs here which I have a picture of and the the bio is actually in Spanish um, I don't know Spanish so you'll you'll have to excuse me um, I think there's a translation on on probably TF wiki or something like that and uh, so this is a very nice update um, I like this this vehicle mode a lot um, the detailing on it is very nice um, we have the First, first off, the uh, the 19 sort of freehand on the side of the car. And it's on both sides. Um, we have the the yellow uh, Autobot symbol and Autobot written across the window in yellow. Um, pretty typical of the G2 line. Um, we have the G2 Autobot symbol on the hood there as well. Um, and a nice little accent. You have the the white headlights covered by clear plastic. Um, some yellow fog lights there and some white tail lights in the back and even some painting here on the back back panel and also on the spoiler that uh, was very nice um, I think they did a good job with this figure One of the things to, uh, if you have this figure or have this mold, to be aware about uh, when you're transforming it is that this panel and this door are actually clear plastic, painted clear plastic. Um, it's my feeling, at least anyway, that this clear plastic is a little bit more fragile. Um, plus, when you transform it, uh, these panels are a little bit cumbersome to sort of transform because they kind of get in the way of other parts, and you'll see while I'm transforming it. Um, so they, they do tend, uh, I think my silver streak, I did break a little tab on it. Um, so just be careful with this one. Um, he has a little gun stored underneath here. Uh, we're just going to pull that out for transformation because it will fall out if I don't. Um, and then the instructions say to pull these doors out to the side first. Uh, but because of that issue I was telling you about, what I like to do is um, pull the, the legs out first. It sort of releases these tabs uh, and you don't have to like be afraid when you um, open them out you know when you pull them out to the side so now you can pretty easily just pull those out um, and then just rotate them down like that and then you can also flip that up to the side and you can see how a lot of these panels sort of get in the way of each other so you just have to be careful and get them maneuver them in the right um, positions and then you can just take them to the side like that. We're just going to finish with the legs. Um, these are the knees obviously and the kneecaps, the tailpipe become the knee kneecaps. We're just going to open up the feet. There we go. And they're already separated. You can separate them. Uh, next thing we're going to do is um, flip out the arms. Get them off to the side out of your way. I mean, you can see Rapido's head there, but what we're going to do first is just flip this out, this panel on the hood, and Rapido's head will pop out like so, and then you can push that back, and then we're going to take this whole front half 
and flip it down like that. I mean, you can adjust the arms, get them in position, and then in the back we can flip forward these little guns uh, or missiles, and then also flip this up the top of the car up to here. And there we have Rapido in robot mode. Um, so many of you are probably familiar with this mold if you have if you have classics Prowl, Silver Streak, or Smokescreen. Um, it is extremely poseable. We have his gun here that will flip open as well and put in his hand. Um, he's got a, a articulation just about everywhere you'd want it. Uh, his head rotates 360. The shoulders are double jointed. The elbows are um, have on a hinge joint and it can also rot like have a biceps rotation. Uh, the fists rotate 360, the waist rotates 360, ball jointed hips, um, and the knees uh, do swivel um, as well as have a hinge to bend on. Um, and then even the ankles are, are articulated, which you can't really see, but there's a, there's a joint in there. Um, so it's basically, I, I can't imagine this could be any more um, articulated than it is. So that's a good, a good point of this figure. Um, and I think the just the the design I think is is awesome. I, I I love the the blue and the red. It really pops and it looks really nice. Um, and the the head sculpt is a home run. Um, I just think that the head sculpt is really um, is is really spot on to to what it should be, especially for a, a sort of a classics update of the figure. That's pretty much it. Um, if you can get this figure, um, you can get the mold probably fairly easily, but, it, but I really re actually recommend getting uh, this, this particular design. I really like this figure. Um, I think they did a great job with it. So that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this review. This is Dr. Prime. Thanks for watching. The Doctor's out.